Right, this is my Taipan Veteran, 22 caliber. I'm running a 700 millimeter FX Superior heavy liner inside of um, this uh, shrouded system with an adapter that I machined for the Taipan to run FX barrels. I just made this uh, shroud system yesterday. It's a tension shroud system uh using the concepts from jefferson state air rifles i'm actually using the threaded adapter that i took out of my jsar raptor uh, bought this tube cut it down to size and the jefferson state air rifle system actually has this little uh two-piece collar that kind of goes over the top of uh the shroud and then a little delrin end, end cap bushing so instead of running that double-sided collar I machined a piece of 7075 aluminum and then I put a Delrin insert that has an o-ring spacer on both sides or an o-ring groove so I'm running like two o-rings back here the threaded uh, uh, one half 20 that threads onto the FX barrel on the end and then provides uh, threading for a moderator I've got three plenum extensions on my rifle right now i don't really need this third i'm actually going to take it off when i get home I actually lose a little bit of efficiency and power with it just because i'm limited on uh the hammer uh the space for a hammer system uh, custom make valves for these things um, with these 40 grain boat tails that i've dedicated to this rifle, I can get 106 to 108 foot-pounds of energy with my valves. Um, I've got a custom hammer system that I made specifically for this rifle. Today, I'm actually running a less aggressive hammer, uh, mainly so I get a full mag per fill, at least. Um, which means that I have to turn the power down a little bit. So I'm running these 40 grains today at 950. I can get them as high as 1100, 1093, 1100, somewhere around there. Four to 32 on top. And I'm really excited today to test this uh, shroud. It's really, really stiff. And something that I found with these longer barrels is you know, if you're running these big slugs at high power in these PCPs, that barrel has to be really, really stiff. You know, it's got to be rigid. It's got to be able to handle that, uh, that big burst of air, you know. Otherwise, you start getting really wild groups, you know. And I haven't really found an air gun that can shoot these uh, 40 grainers very well. Not as well as this, at least, but um, the Evol over here, I'd say that this is definitely more rigid. This threaded system that um, American Air Arms has designed for this. It's very, very rigid. This is close. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not uh, as good as the Evol, but uh, I'm pretty hopeful that this will improve um, harmonics, especially when I run a moderator on the end. So, time to test it out. It's pretty windy today. It's actually starting to calm down some, but uh, unfortunately my table's like a sail, like a sailboat. So I might be shooting from down there shortly.